Hello guys, it's Pep from Pep here and today I'm gonna talk you about the KC Cup that has just handed. So I didn't play that. In the truth, I didn't have so much time to invest in it. But even if I had it, I really don't think uh, I would have played so much. Um, as you will see in a while, I just reached, uh, I'm not sure, about 9000, uh, 9000, uh, 99k uh, DP, as you can see, it's 10k actually, so not that much, I didn't play, uh, I didn't play a lot, or I can say I played really, um, really, really a little. Uh, just because there was really no point. In fact, in this video, I'm just gonna tell you what I think, what I think about this competition right now. Um, anyway, if you, if anyone of you wanna just know uh, which deck I used, the deck I used is this, the invoked deck, uh, the invoked magician girl that you can find in another video um, on the channel. Um, really powerful. Uh, I just got the 60%. Uh, win rate, so uh, really not that much. I th I really think I could have reached uh, at least um, uh, thirty thousand um, k, so thirty k uh, in DP. Um, and um, first of all, I already had the invitation to the uh, qualifier, to the world qualifier of that I think will happen in May or maybe in. Uh, uh, June, uh, but uh, second, I think that after three years of Yu-Gi-Oh, because as you know, I'm uh, playing from the beginning, so since the release actually in Italy where I am, in Europe, uh, and um, uh, they have been three years since I am playing Yu-Gi-Oh, to the links on um, mobile and PC when, when it came. Uh, and the reason there's really no point in, in playing this KC Cup just to have, um, a, if, I, if I'm not wrong, only the first of the um, uh, only the first of each region gets directly invited to uh, to the wood qualifier. So uh, it's not that much. We are at least. Uh, maybe I can say 1 million of people that are playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and that maybe um, get into the KC Cups so uh, there's really no point in trying to farm for 3 days straight and trying to um, accumulate points DP uh, when uh, each loss uh, is gonna uh, hurt you so much that you just gonna have when you have high points uh, one loss is gonna uh, is gonna take you two wins just to recover the points you lose so uh, it's really not a good way to make people play uh, a lot of good uh, duelists i can say are not uh, motivated about that because you know it's just farming as an event and uh, and also if um, we get it's in the weekend so if um, we can say if on a side um, it's a good thing because you know there are people that works and so in the weekend should be easier just to play Yu Gi Oh! but on the other side um, on the weekend you I, I'm 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 sure that any one of you just want to uh, lose all his time all his weekend to a game maybe on a mobile so no one really wants to stay focused on a on a mobile or on a PC for a whole weekend starting from uh, Friday so uh, I think it's not the best choice I think that after three years you Konami have really the uh, you have to uh, to think something different um, also because uh, it's this the KC Cup has been the same for so long and really nothing changed at all um, the only thing that changed are decks uh, 
uh, thanks to the ban list, but uh, that's all. Uh, we need, mm, I think at least, the least that Konami can do is to just improve the rewards, maybe add some uh, dream ticket, some gems, um, it's really worthless, the, the, the rewards that we have now are really worthless, so I really was not interested in playing this KC Cup, um, also because to play a KC Cup and you know reach some um, a, a good amount of point or or, or at least a, an amount of point that's that is enough to to stay um, between among the the first 500 for example that if i'm not wrong um, guaranteed a, a staying from exactly yes staying among the first 500 guarantees you a, a, a place in the an invite for the world qualifier so for the world qualification so um, it's not worth so you to have to reach that point um, you really have to invest gems maybe sometimes according to the meta you always you also have to invest money to buy cards um, like um, like what happened in this KC Cup because it was really um, uh, so close to the release of the selection box that uh, as you all know um, requires you to spend uh, money on that because you only are allowed to buy uh, not if I'm not wrong 20 packs with gems so that's all and uh, it was a really really upsetting right now and um, these are the, the reasons why it's me it's not worthless it's not uh, interesting anymore playing it's not motivating anymore playing this KC Cup I really hope that for the next KC Cup that I have seen just a couple of days ago that it's gonna happen on on April so just maybe just one month after the end of this one we will have another KC Cup and then at the end of May or June I'm not to, I really cannot remember um, there will be the the qualifier the world qualifier that that in the truth starts as a KC Cup so we will have three KC Cup in a row in in less than six months I think it's a little bit too much um, and I really hope that they are that they have thought about something to change, something to keep the player, the players interested in, in KC Cup, and uh, mm, that's all, guys. Um, I don't think Konami is gonna see this video. Of course, I'm not that popular, but I really hope this may have helped you about what I think. About the KC Cup, and guys, please, in um, uh, I will let I will I will let you see um, some replays of the KC Cup that I played with this deck, so you can see how how it really was strong enough uh, to make it. And I really hope you enjoyed. And uh, let me know, guys, in the comments what you think about this KC Cup. If you played it, and how it how it went. So if it went good or bad, if you were interested in playing this KC Cup and what would you like to see in the next KC Cups? Enjoy the replays!
Thank mm -hmm. you.